Hey guys, what's up? Nick Williams. We're out here today on some Alabama public land. We're gonna come out this morning and uh, got us a good cold front. Shot us a little meat dough. Sat on the ground with the wall drop pack seat. And shot her with my muzzle loader. We're fixing to go and I'm gonna show you how I uh, quarter them up and pack them out. So I'm gonna kind of show you, this is my kill kit. I got a couple pillowcases. And on a small dough like this one, a pillowcase will easy fit all the meat. All right. So I got two just regular old Walmart light pillowcases. And I got a gallon Ziploc bag. And in it, I got a couple pair of nitrile gloves. I got a couple pair of uh, tractor supply calf birthing gloves for if I want to gut a deer. I got some wet wipes to clean up after the fact. And then I have a little outdoor edge, disposable blade knife, and a couple extra blades. And that's it, that's my kill kit. So the Ziploc bag, <coughs> the Ziploc bag holds everything, and then I can use it to put the liver and the heart in. So pretty, pretty simple what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you real quick how to make kind of a meat shelf, okay? So if you don't wanna use the game sack like I used in the last hunt video, you can take this leg, all right, and this is gonna be a smaller meat shelf than if we had the, uh, the full-size pack seat because the legs are a little bit longer. But we're gonna slide that pillowcase down over that leg, all right. I ain't gotta be on there no kind of particular way. But what that's gonna do then, we can let this strap all the way out that usually holds that bag on there. And that's gonna give us a meat shelf, all right? And it's gonna mean that all of our meat rides kinda high up on our back and the, uh, the hip belt is gonna take most of the, uh, the weight. Very easy way to pack game out. All right, I'm gonna try to keep this all on camera. Uh, it is kind of tricky filming yourself, but the first thing we're gonna do is uh, get the feet off this deer. Just gonna bring that around, cut that tendon right there, and uh, give that a twist. And get that leg off there. That's nothing that anybody wants. We're gonna do that for all four legs. All right, once I got everything off, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna make a cut along the spine from around her neck all the way down to her butt. But we're just gonna leave her on her side. And this ain't gotta be a pretty cut. We're just gonna come in below the skin, kind of along the spine, cutting from the inside out. And, uh, trying to follow it best we can and then I come down and I kind of follow as my guide kind of where brown hair turns to white hair on the flanks okay I'm gonna come all the way down to that uh, cut that I made where I opened up the leg there and then I'm gonna come around on this side Come at that cut that I started at the back, and we're gonna come up kind of around her shoulder. We're gonna skin down to our uh, just kind of the same thing. Come across the front edge of the leg. We're gonna cut all the way down to that shank. That cut right there. So now we got that deer cut from the front leg coming up and around the shoulder all the way down to the ham that way. That's going to free up access. We can just start peeling that hide off of her. There we go. So then the shoulders come off real easy. Right. 
and that's the shoulder. So I always take the shoulder off first because that frees up access to the back strap. Come up in there, cut it loose, and I know you can't really see what I'm doing, but the back strap runs along the spine on either side. And you just cut it loose at the neck, and you're just gonna come through, work it off the ribs. Not much to it, just kind of come down, work the knife between the spine, work it to the ribs, and just kind of, I just kind of cut it off a inch at a time, just making kind of curved, curved cuts. And it'll get bigger the closer you get to the, the ham end of the deer. We're gonna come here at the ham, terminate that back strap cut. All right, that's a good clean back strap. With that, with that done, that's a ham and a back strap. We're just gonna come and separate this. Kind of take this hide off this ham. Yeah. That's largely free. We're gonna come in here and cut this connective tissue, being careful as we can not to get up in no gut. And sticking as close to the uh, to the hip bone, getting as much of that meat as we possibly can. We're just going to poke around. There we go. I think that's it. Found the hip socket. Right there. Keep all of this that we can. Ready? We got a little bit of hair left on there. Alright, you can see that's a doe quarter. It's pretty clean, and uh, that's the socket. We got a pretty good chunk of that that meat, so we're gonna put that in the uh, in the chair too. If you come back here behind her ribs, you feel where it ribs end and the short ribs begin. And you can actually get up in there, and you can get to the uh, tenderloin. Here's a tenderloin. Nice little piece of meat. That's my wife's favorite piece. I'm not a big tenderloin fan, but that's her favorite, so we're gonna save that for her. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that hide. We got the front and rear quarters, the back strap, and the tenderloin. We're gonna take this hide, fold it back over that deer. Pretend like none of that ever even happened. We're gonna grab her by her legs here and flip her. Once she's flipped, we're going to do the same thing that we did on the other side. We're going to make a cut here around the shoulder. We're going to make a cut here around the butt. We're going to take the shoulder, the pack strap, the ham, and the tenderloins off. And we're going to put them all in the pack. I'm not going to make you sit through all that. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Once I'm, uh, we got everything in the pack and everything's cleaned up. You can see this is how everything packs up on the pack seat. Just a pellet case to turn the rear leg into a meat shelf. And then uh, these little small Osceola deer, I don't think she weighed 70 pounds. And uh, you can see she fed up there nicely and that's quarters with the shanks attached to it. On a bigger deer, you may have to debone your quarters. But that's all that meat. And you can see how it packs. I'm gonna go ahead and do my best to shoulder it. So as you can see, that's everything on my back right now. Uh, the weight is going to my hips. Everything's above my waist, tight to my back. Uh, you can see facing straight on, it's inside, you know, my back, below my shoulders. 
if I get up close, you can tell them shoulder straps, they're not digging down. I got them up a little bit, but I got a pretty good load. It's, it's mostly coming across the front of my chest and sitting on my hips. And uh, it definitely beats dragging her out two miles. All right, that's a two mile hike out. We're about halfway there without stopping. So I'd say we're doing pretty good. Hey, Amos. Hey, boy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? You, you like looking for deer? Huh? You ready to go home? Eat a biscuit? Take a nap? You ready for some food? I'm ready for some food. Yeah, I know. Let's go get some food. Come on. Off he goes.